Our reign continues on Optimal Play. Today we're here to play our fourth generation of The King's Dilemma. Um, things are going great in the kingdom. Uh, not my fault. <laughs> my name is Brandon. I am still here with Ryan, Candace, and Christian. Hi, everyone. Hey. Good to be back. Thank you for coming back. Yeah, our last three videos were all filmed on the same day, so it was. Uh, I wasn't sure you were all going to come back for another <laughs> round. I just need to redeem uh, my family's horrible name, which nobody <laughs> likes right now. Your name is literally written all over this game right now. Yeah, but it? it's mostly like, why did they do that to us? Yeah, <laughs> a bad one. Fair point. Um, speaking of which, do you want to start us off recalling what's going on? Uh, yeah, speaking of the mistakes that our parents and grandparents have made, uh, so... <laughs> We have a couple of ongoing plot lines right now. Uh, one of them is the Ash Bread uh, and the Ashers, who are poor people who ate the bread and may or may not have been affected by it. They have a horrible rash. Uh, there's a lot of uh, bias against them. And there are now vigilantes hanging them in the streets. They call themselves defenders. Uh, and it's up in the air which of those groups is actually in the right right now. Uh, and I'm sure we'll decide uh, very wisely how to deal with it. I have strong feelings about it, but you know, I'll, save, I'll save them for the next dilemma. Uh, what do you recall going on, Candice? And then we were we were invited to the Crimson Keep, right. which has the rare red iron. Mm -hmm. um, and now there's going to be a planned marriage mm -hmm. um, between Edgarn and the daughter of the Ankali, Lara. Right, and we're hoping uh, to get some of that sweet, sweet red iron. Uh, absolutely, <laughs> that's that party favorite. Gotta, gotta get, yeah. Yeah. Gotta get right. the red iron. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone just gets a little box mm -hmm. red <laughs> iron to take home yeah. from the wedding. Um, Meanwhile, as if that weren't enough, we had found, I believe the phrase was, a mysterious fresco. Yes! Best kind of fresco. <laughs> a strange little religious site in these ruins, which led us to send an army to go after this monastery in a distant forest. Where, I think where we've left off, our army is in that forest, and our, or the members of our army are suffering mysterious nightmares. While I'm they're sure it's fine. <laughs> Yeah. That seems fine. Our scholars are telling us that it's it's, it's nothing. Totally. Yeah. We should it's just totally keep looking. Right. right. <laughs> <laughs> On the good side, uh -huh. at least, uh, we freed a woman from slavery, and as a result, she uh, told us about a golden map in the Ivory Desert, which has led us to the City of Tents, which uh, currently we're exploring. There's a, a nice little cult there that's kind of like the cult of the mother that we're used to, but they're very opulent, apparently. Um, Sounds but, suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> very suspicious. But it has improved our trade. Oh. Hmm. Convenient. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and this story actually gives us a passive bonus as well. Uh, whenever a player opts to pass and gather power, they gain two coins instead of one. Ooh, that is opulent. Nice. Extremely opulent. Yeah. Uh, on that subject, the other story effects that we've got at the top of these story piles is that House Badron, a.k.a. Christian, got the open agenda for influence from our current Red Iron story. Yep. And... We are starting with stability, two spaces below its usual starting point from our Asher story. Because whoops, yeah, <laughs> people are hanging from the trees. Yeah, it's, uh -huh. yeah. It's, it's I would better. say I would not say it is stable. If I was being honest, with no, that. <laughs> no. So and remind me how these score and stuff. We're getting ahead of ourselves because there's one little tiny detail that we've forgotten, which is that we're at war. Oh. <laughs> That's right, true. that is the ongoing plot. <laughs> yes. Yeah, with with Muir. Yes, we're at war with Muir. <laughs> and all we know is that we have to dump power into this war or mm -hmm. else we'll lose it. Mm -hmm. uh, and that they deserve it. <laughs> right. Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah, they were bad at Muir <laughs> defeating them because they're terrible. Yeah, so whenever we pass, uh, any person who passes has the opportunity to contribute power to the war effort. Yes. And if we have 10 there when the end is triggered by the Dilemma deck, when, or when the war is triggered by the Dilemma deck, then... We win the battle, and the people who put in the most get rewarded. And as I recall, if we don't have at least 10, then we lose the battle, and the people who have the fewest in there get punished. That's correct. Yeah, so it's that's good right. to put your power there regardless. Unless a war doesn't happen, in which case you feel bad. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Not the last game. Okay, uh, last order of business before we get started. We need our secret agendas. Mm. All right, uh, the leader also goes to me. We established that I have the most prestige points, so I'll take the, the it's the fist, right? Yes. Thank you. And the moderator is whoever has the fewest prestige points. Who was that? Tied, five. Five, and how are ties broken? Uh, you have this number house number the in the lower left. Who has the lower house One. number? That sounds like Candace. <laughs> All right. I think you've been the moderator yeah. <laughs> every game so far. Uh, As a reminder, right. my vote is for sale. <laughs> <laughs> Always for sale. All right, Oop, I'm looking on the wrong side of this, okay. The merchant Zymo 
you know, our good friend Zymo. Don't like him. I don't think we've met Zymo, have we? Not that I remember. We've met some merchants. Were yeah, they... but I don't think Zymo was the okay. one. Yeah. The merchant Zymo started selling a strange concoction which is supposed to hide the mark of the Ashers. Its efficacy is dubious to say the least, and he is a well-known charlatan. Mm. Yet many hopeless people trust him and his compound. Do we ban Zymo's healing potion? Hmm. Uh, if we vote I, then our morale is going to go down. Because mm -hmm. we banned their one source of mm -hmm. healing, supposedly. If we say nay, wealth will go up, but the leader will get a negative sticker. Where can we get this placebo? <laughs> <laughs> I, negative morale, mm -hmm. nay, positive, wealth, oh. and sticker, but a negative, a bad sticker, right? Yeah. Great. Wow, so, so this one dude making a bunch of money selling snake oil is enough to raise the wealth of the kingdom, it seems. I mean, presumably we uh, we nationalize the industry, <laughs> and then oh, we start okay. mass producing. <laughs> <laughs> Sales tax. Uh, yeah, you're right. Okay. Um, huh. So I was really... I remember that I was adamantly in favor of punishing the merchant who was selling spoiled fish, mm -hmm. and you oh. guys let him off the hook, mm -hmm. as I recall. I was all Check about out. punishing. Yeah, that I'm pretty sure well, that I'm I pretty think. sure that we got outvoted on that. Yeah. Um, but I don't think we I I don't think that we just let merchants do whatever the hell they want. So, I'm going to vote I with two power mm -hmm. that yes we ban his healing potion. Okay, so as the moderator, I break ties, or what does yes. this mean again? Yes, you break ties. Okay. If you are still the moderator at the end, remember that someone can pass, pass and, and become the moderator. Yeah. Can she pass and take the moderator yeah. again? Mm -hmm. Guarantees yeah. that she keeps it. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm going to pass and keep the moderator. Great. Okay, you get a coin. Uh, actually, Two coins. No, it's only when the, we pass for power. Got it. That we get the extra coin. So right. okay. you have one coin, and we'll put that on your pass card just to mark that you've locked it in. Okay. Love it. So I think I am going to put two power towards the war. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I guess. so let's yeah, say it's on like the wedge nearest to you on that yeah, right. card. Yeah, yeah, that'll be you. Okay. Um, so I agree with you. I think this guy should be punished. I do not agree but. so strongly <laughs> that I will contribute any power tokens to it. Great. I'm going to contribute to the war effort because I'm a patriot. Uh, so I'm putting two into the war effort, and I get two gold for passing. Um, mm. Yeah, okay. that's me. I'm out. Right. Candace, um, what are you thinking? <laughs> As the moderator, you can break ties. I mean, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm leaning toward a, uh, an I vote on this one. Hmm. So but, but... You know but, that... You know that if you outvote me and go nay, you're going to get a sticker. I do know this. <laughs> <laughs> but my, my vote is also for sale. So. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to pass for power, uh, giving me two coins, and then mm -hmm. I'm going to put three power on the war effort. Ooh, wow. Mm. All right, everyone's got power in there but me. You just put it there? Yeah. So get two bucks? Two. Yep. He took it. Yeah. Okay. Right, so we're now at uh, seven power towards the war effort after one round. That's, That's pretty good. That's pretty good. We're doing yeah. okay on it. Okay. So it's come back to me, which is the end of the voting. I was the only one who had anything to say about it, so I'll spend my two power. Actually, first, those of you who pass for power split what's in the pot, mm -hmm. one each, and the one that can't be split stays. My two go into the middle, and I'm going to be leader for whatever happens here. Yeah. You ban the fraudulent compound, but desperate people resent you for denying them hope of a cure for their aesthetic defect. Many heartless scholars, however, believe that the Ashers should just learn to accept it. Mm -hmm. All That's right. Me. Yeah. <laughs> objectively me. I'm the heartless scholar. Uh, simply, morale goes down by three, so it's going to move down three, flip and to the negative side, <laughs> stability drops by three. It's already just four spaces away from the king advocating. Yep. Wow. Could be a short game. The king's dilemma. Eek. <laughs> Uh, with that, we go straight into a new dilemma. I'm you still the leader. Still leader. The voice is going to go hoarse from all this reading. It's another merchant. Drusu, a tremendously rich merchant with a ruddy smile coming from the city of tents, hmm. is offering our kingdom a ridiculously large sum of money on a loan to be returned in convenient installments. Hmm. Do we take the loan? So, on an I, wealth goes up and the leader gets a negative sticker. 
Uh, and then nothing is indicated on the nay. Oh, good. So, yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, the city of tents is uh, offering Colonna's money. Mm -hmm. mm. I don't feel strongly enough to put my power on the line here, and I'm behind on the war effort. <laughs> <laughs> so I will pass for power, taking two coins, and I'm going to contribute... I want to be in the lead on the effort, so I'm going to put in three power. So we're now at ten. Yep. So unless there's any way to lose the power from that card, we're, we're going to win the battle if it triggers. If it doesn't trigger, then fuck us, we wasted all that power. Yep. All right. <laughs> As usual. <laughs> so I've passed Candace. I don't feel strongly about this one either. And I certainly don't want a negative sticker. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to put one in for Nay. Okay. Go against. You now have the most power on a vote, so you're the leader. Okay. Hmm. I mean, I don't want the sticker, but I. You want the money. I do want the money to go up, so I'm gonna put one on I just to keep it in the mix. Oh, okay. So it's a tie vote. Mm -hmm. I know mm. the moderator is still mm -hmm. right. Yeah, can, Candace <laughs> still break the tie. Not for long. Because uh -oh. I'm going to pass for moderator. Okay. Okay. Mm. You get one coin and the mallet. Gavel? Gavel. Gavel. It's gavel. Oh. And I think I want to put one more on the war effort so that I stay maximum oh. leader. Okay. <laughs> All right. I see how it is. So uh, the leader had remained with Candace. I have passed, so I can't do anything else. So the voting is over. It's a tie. It comes down to moderator Ryan. I think we should get the loan. Okay. Take All right. Money. So yeah. eyes win, so sure. I we, become we need, the new leader, right? You're the only one okay. with any power on this okay. vote, yeah. So we spend, oh, first we pass and give it Yeah, power. so I was the only one who passed for power, so I'll take the three that was in there. Mm -hmm. Ooh. You please throw in what you, uh, actually. Only the. Yeah, so only the winning vote spends its good, leaders back. Good, yeah, good. so okay. only one power in there. Um, well, it's my fault, so let's yeah. see what happens. Yep. <laughs> we needed to increase the stability. Druce sends us a large coffer full of gold ingots. Our wildest and most expensive dreams may soon come true, but some are concerned about the long-term cost of this deal. <laughs> Let's hope Rayella, the saint daughter of money and business, will bless this risky decision. Uh, so, plus four wealth. All right. Wow. All right. So, also wow. four stability. Okay, stability's back yeah, okay. Yeah. okay. And a horrible sticker. <laughs> <laughs> 93. Endless loan. <laughs> oh, God. Make sure to sign that. Yep. <laughs> I have so many bad stickers. <laughs> so I have received, received the sticker Endless Loan. The terms of Drusu's loan force the kingdom to pay absurd interest rates. We're seeking ways to escape his ironclad contract, so I get the negative open agenda for wealth. Uh, the first okay. sticker for wealth that we've received. It so is. Someone can put that on the board. Womp womp. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I told you. I, I'm committing one. Uh, you know, I really care about the kingdom. You guys don't seem to care about the kingdom. Okay. It was a um, so I'm the new leader. You are. So new dilemma to me. God help us all. <laughs> <laughs> a band of marauders approached our expedition at the city of Tents privately, asking a hefty sum in exchange for a big treasure, ancient scrolls, jewels, and most importantly, the golden map. Mm. They explicitly Ooh. state that it came into their possession after exterminating a group of sand priestesses <laughs> at a secret desert temple. Mm. Mm. Oh. The expedition Germany. soldiers think we should take it by force rather than deal with such scum. Do we pay the marauders? Ooh. Do we Ooh. believe that they actually have the golden map? So the quite wait, so the question is do we pay the marauders? So the mm -hmm. I is bad wealth, bad sticker. <laughs> obviously. Uh -huh. The nay is good wealth. Because we're not paying them, we're we're murdering them. Yeah. But I would not be surprised if there were other consequences for murder. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, sorry. I mean, yeah, this, I'm guessing that there's an envelope here because it seems like we're getting this map that we're looking for either yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. So um, so the question is, do we pay them or not? Um, I just don't want a bad sticker on my name. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I got a lot of bad stickers right now. You sure do. Uh, so I'm, I also don't, I think we should negotiate with terrorists. So I'm going to vote nay. To save, because, you know, that's... Vote, voting for murder. Voting for murder. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to vote for murder. I'm putting in one token for murder. Well, I really would like to see us um, 
get some uh, accolades with the, the Sand Priestess, is that what it's called? Mm -hmm. so yeah, Sand yeah. Priestess. Yeah, I'd really like to see this get some accolades with the Sand Priestess. So um, I want to make sure that I can put my thumb on the scale by passing for Moderator. Okay. Oh, cool. As usual. <laughs> yes, this whole high and mighty explanation for <laughs> the moral stance he's taking in order to pass for Moderator. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Um, I've always been known as a pacifist, right? Mm -hmm. I think we should pay them. Right? Like, why murder people because they're bad murder? people. Because they're bad people. You would get the map all bloody. <laughs> <laughs> we won't even be able to read it. You'll also get a bad sticker. Mm hmm. But I don't have any stickers. That's true. I would kind of. It's I really bad least, for. I would at least feel like my legacy is. better than no stickers. If That's not true. But if, <laughs> <laughs> said no one ever. <laughs> but if you're trying to trash the kingdom, which I know you are, getting bad stickers is not in your interest because... Because then I would be motivated to keep the resources high. Yeah. Huh. But in the short term, sinking our wealth is in my interest. Oh. Which is the other effect of the I vote. Yes. So, I am going to vote I with... Let's, let's, put, uh, let's put three power on this. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. I'll take Feel the leader, strongly please. strongly about this. <sighs> Candace, we can do this. We cannot support these terrible people. It would only take two power, because I'll break the tie. I'll give you two gold not to. Ooh. Is, Ooh. is two gold really worth it, though? Worth your soul. If it puts you in the lead, that's exactly what <laughs> you need. I'm going to take your two gold. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll give you two gold to keep it. To put two on? Mm-hmm. Put two power on for, but then you're spending your power, so that's, that's costing true. power. But you did want me. I would have to, to spend nothing. three power. Two power, because he'll break the tie. Yeah. But he has three power. Oh, Christian you're you're in one. there too. Yeah. Okay, so two power. Three gold. But three gold. Mm -hmm. But I'll pay you. Okay, I'll I'll match the three, and also you can just pass for power and gain power instead of spending it. I mean, or, or you could join me on voting that out, one but. power. Well, yeah, but it's better than no, spending two, two gold, right? You gain two gold when you pass for power. Christian, are you chipping in? Uh, well, let's see what she We're does. talking about four four total gold? I, oh, oh, me paying her gold? Yeah. I can't afford to. <laughs> not, not one gold? No, not one gold. How's bad run? I can't. It's notoriously stingy. I can do four gold. Can you do four? Yeah. You do four? Really? Got my vote. Wow. All right. Sorry so the for leader tonight. is still That's here, right? Yeah. Um, yep. So for now, so, oh, that's right. So the leader is me. The voting passes to Christian. Right. Um, and the leader would not change unless I went to above three power, correct? Uh, yes. Okay, great. Uh, I'm not changing anything. Okay, so you're doing nothing? Um, I can, yeah, doing nothing. Okay. Uh, you've already passed. So voting is done. Moderator decides it. Three uh, to three tie. Oh, I'm bringing the tie at nay. Great. Okay. Uh, which makes Candace the leader for this, since mm -hmm. she has the most power on nay. Okay. Let's see what happens. Spend. Oh, nobody took power. No one took power, okay. so just add to it. Spend that. Become the leader. All right. Nay. Right. That's what we picked. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Such cruel acts can't be condoned nor left unpunished. Our soldiers easily slay the marauders and avenge their victims. They also recover the ancient scrolls and the golden map yeah. from their destroyed camp. <laughs> but, the, but the sand priestesses from the city mm -hmm. of tents will soon discover how it came into our possession. Oh, that's a fair point. Our expedition <laughs> leaves the city in a hurry. <laughs> uh, wealth will go up three. Ooh, so four, four. since it had momentum. And it gets a little arrow. Three, four. And then a uh, 44 envelope. Oh, okay. I, I, I've got to imagine the Sand Priestesses would have been mad at either way. <laughs> That's what I'm going to tell myself <laughs> uh -huh. because I won't know. So we get three new That's events, true. which I will shuffle in. Okay. And then I sign this. The signer of this card gains one prestige. Nice. Uh, right now, yeah, you sure do. Golden map. Chiseled into a single golden leaf, the map has a grandiose look. As gold easily stands the test of time, 
Its age is unfathomable. However, old legends speak of a golden map leading to an endless fountain of liquid gold. Whoa. The numerous old scrolls we obtained together with the map are full of references to a sun empire. <laughs> known only from ancient legends dating back to the ages before Omad, the first king. We wonder whether this is the map of the old legends and how truthful those legends are. Hmm. It may all be a metaphor for the power and riches of the lost empire. An expedition has to be launched, but the map is not easily interpreted. Hmm. Okay. Golden map. Okay. Yeah. So that goes on top of the city of tents. Yes. Yep, so we've moved on from the city of tents. We're no longer getting double money when we pass for power. Yep. Uh, and you're the leader, so you get a new dilemma. Did you mark your prestige on your board? Uh, no. I Go ahead and do that, that now. now. Yeah. Good call. Congrats. Thank you. We've broken the tie for last. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> I spoke of earlier. Oh, yeah? The wedding between Lara and Edgarn has been repeatedly delayed due to the riots in Duin caused by zealots trying to force the Duke to break his brother's engagement to the godless princess, mm -hmm. as they say. The honor driven on Kali, though, have been quite upfront. Canceling the marriage would have severe consequences. Mm -hmm. Do we repress the protests? Mm. Now that's a dilemma for a king. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So if we vote I, um, morale and influence will rise positively. Mm -hmm. It will rise positively. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> um, if we vote nay, someone's going to get a bad sticker and... Influence is um, gonna take a hit. Mm -hmm. hmm. So to recap, it's on Kali protests, which yeah. is which is why if we repress them, it's good. For no, us. I'm, I'm sorry. I think it's the kingdom. Duke's. It's our protests, so it's good for our morale. So, okay, so riots in doing, which is one cause of our, trying to force the Duke to brace because it's the Duke's. Again. It's the Duke's son who is the or the Duke, Duke who's is, engaged. I'm trying to figure out why it's good for our morale to repress these protests. Doesn't seem like it must be our people then. Yeah. Okay. No, it's not our people. Right, because it's a the it's not it's not in our kingdom, it's in one of the other kingdoms near us. Right, okay. Yes. Hmm. I mean I think this is very straightforward. Break those protests. You do, do you? Uh-huh. I'm an eye man, I'm not gonna lie here. I'll tell you in advance of your vote. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an eye man. Mm -hmm. I love a wedding. I'm a romance. I'm a romantic. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a romance. <laughs> I'm a romance. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually pass for power, mm -hmm. and wow, what happens She's, if we tie Candace on the is war? Not a, Candace is not a romance. Uh, <laughs> both people who yeah, I don't care about this. Both people who uh, tie get the benefit. It's this game seems to treat ties as you both get the benefit yeah. of the punishment. Okay, so I'm gonna pass for power and put a, an additional two. Oh, okay. One gold. Thank you. I, I told you guys I love a wedding. I'm putting I right now. All right. How strongly do you love one? Just one power for now. We'll mm. see what happens. You're not that romantic. But I get the leader. <laughs> oh, are you are you going to come up with an excuse to keep the moderator token? Is that what's is that what's going to happen? Yeah, is you're going to that sigh was. <laughs> give a long speech about the sanctimony of marriage and then pass the moderator. So that's why I need to be the moderator. <laughs> uh, would anyone like to pay me not to do that? <laughs> <laughs> no, I want to hear the speech. Well, wait. Uh. Christian has already voted. Mm -hmm. Candace has already passed. Mm -hmm. Brandon obviously wants to vote nay. I am already is... the moderator. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to pass for power. Sure. Go for it. You get one gold. Okay. Brandon. <sighs> My You're... vote is for sale, remember. Just let the wedding happen, Brandon. We don't have to do this. You can just let the wedding happen. If there's a negative consequence, which there probably will be, people will be like, that bad one, he hates the, the little people, <laughs> as usual. No, this wedding... Why do you hate... ...can only bring fortune and happiness <laughs> to our kingdom, and I can't have that. <laughs> <laughs> this wedding might end the game. 
Why? What? Because the because the, we might get uh, enough positive to end the game. That seems very unlikely. <laughs> oh yeah. well, with two values going up and one of them having yeah. momentum. If they go up by a combined six or five plus one for momentum, it would end the game. That's true. That's true. But the biggest number we've seen so far is plus four. And let me just say that if the game were to end with roughly this, I would not be happy. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, we are not voting I on this. Um, I'm gonna put. So, so wait, here, how about this? Mm -hmm. um, pay me the four <laughs> that I paid Candace previously, and I will break the tie in your favor. It's not my problem that you overpaid, Candace. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just saying that you can save yourself a power by paying me four so that you don't have to beat Christian. I don't think Christian cares that much. Even <laughs> wants to put in enough power to match me. We'll see what Christian does, then we can talk. I'm going to put three on Nay. Three on Nay? Yeah. Ooh. Go, protesters! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> So if you I want to, you gotta keep going. if you want to take this to, oh, and I take the leadership. Token, yes, by the way. If you want to take this vote to the, we negotiate with Ryan over <laughs> the tie phase. It's gonna cost you Ryan. two more power. Yeah, I know. How much? How much gold would it take you to break the tie? Four. Uh, it would take four to break it negatively. <laughs> the question is, what's gonna happen after this wedding if the wedding happens? Yeah, absolutely not. Cancel the wedding. It's on your head. <laughs> oh, You're going to get the bad sticker. Have fun. Oh, oh good. I got what I wished for. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm not so doing anything. You're doing nothing. You've already passed. The vote ends and the nays have it. Uh, so power gets split between you yep. two. Mm -hmm. My power comes back. And my three go into the pot for mm -hmm. next vote. There you go. Mm -hmm. Here is what we've done. <laughs> now... <laughs> What you've, you've done. done. Here is what <laughs> I've done. Our lack of response to the rioting zealots infuriates the Ancali. Lara, forced to choose between her love for Edgarn and the convictions of her people, chooses the former and converts to the cult of the mother <gasps> to marry Edgarn, oh. thinking it a reasonable compromise. It's not. However, her father, the warrior king of the Ancali, is not of the same mind. Mm -hmm. Mad with wrath, he declares war. <laughs> oh. Why did you do that? <laughs> well. Because you're the bad guy. We've established yeah. this. On the bright side, influence goes down by four. Jesus. Stability two. Mm -hmm. We need sticker number 150. Two Cultural plus. betrayal. <laughs> oh, good. oh, good. I get to write my name on that, huh? Yep. <laughs> Prickle snipe. <laughs> Committed cultural betrayal. <laughs> Betrayed both by us and their princess, the Ankali will not forgive our lack of respect for their culture. Ooh. A promising alliance was thwarted in its infancy. We worked sorry. really hard for that alliance, yeah. despite you trying to cancel that last time, too. <sighs> so sorry about that no, alliance you're not. thing. Oh, Admittedly, we, we could have done it. Also, I no, I, you're just a fa you're you your obsession with maxing out gold <laughs> is bad for the kingdom because you could have charged a lot day less day four than four. four just it's true. Yeah. It's true. You can't, sit, you can't sit here passing every single dilemma and then complain about what happens. No one even thought of counter-offering. Yeah, because you, you have a vote that you cho choose yeah. not to use. <laughs> the fact that you never, ever vote is I, your decision. Yeah. I vote. Have you voted once this game? I, we've only had, like, three votes. This four. is all your fault. <laughs> four. Yeah, you're over for four. Zero <laughs> votes oh. out of four. Uh, we're opening envelope number 69. Oh. Nice. Hey, yo. The sex Kind of sexy news, is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, uh, the honeymoon news about honeymoon. Wedding did happen. Uh, the events, and I'll shuffle them in. This story card has a different icon on the top. Like it's, it is the Ooh. red iron slash wedding storyline, but it is highlighted in gold and has a thirty and a sword icon. I assume that it. means that we're at war because of you. <laughs> Let's read what it says. I guess so. Give, uh, if you give me the yeah, events, the I'll shuffle them in. The, like, those are dilemmas, right? As opposed to something else? Yep. Okay. The, uh, oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> this is, this is terrible for me. 
Good. So, so the effect on this story card, if it's what's revealed at the start of the next game, is the player with the most prestige loses three power. Thank God. The second loses two power. Good. And the signer of this card also me loses one power. Good. Jeez. So, Good. So I'm, I'm maybe on track there's a to, lesson here about working for the kingdom. I'm on track to get two of those three penalties. Good. <laughs> there's only with, if only there was a way for you also to get second place <laughs> to really max out the penalty. Okay. What have we done? An endless war. We have encountered an endless war. Mm -hmm. The battle with Oncall engulfs the Mark of Torque. Our more abundant resources and superior numbers barely allow us to keep the unmatched battle prowess and the red iron weapons of our enemy at bay, narrowly preventing them from extending their range of action into our other duchies. In the end, neither faction proves capable of defeating the other, but at the same time, neither is willing to give up the fight. We find ourselves in a perpetual state of war, a never-ending conflict that puts a strain on the resources of the most influential families of our kingdom, forced to constantly support the war effort. That would be why the power penalties. Mm -hmm. So, through some movie magic, we've looked up what to do <laughs> when this icon appears in the corner of the story card. It is the ending of the story. So, the wedding got called off. No, I'm sorry, the wedding happened. It happened, happened. The, happened. the wrong wedding yeah, happened. The wrong wedding yeah, happened. I knew what happened. Um, basically, we ruined the wedding. No, um, again, you keep using the word we. <laughs> House Freckle Snipe. House Prickle Snipe ruined specifically, personally ruined the wedding. Okay, basically I ruined the wedding. <laughs> <laughs> it ends the storyline and it says here, majority signer bonus plus one crave. So we look through the story pile and whoever signed the most, I think it says majority, but it's actually plurality. Sure. But uh, it looks like it's two Prickle Snipe, one Badron and one Amarada. So it looks like that's me. Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. I get one crave point. For ruining a wedding. It's my first one. That's nice. First ruined uh, wedding? <laughs> Both. And then as far as I know, for the rest of our campaign, this effect where the player with the most prestige loses three power, the second loses two, and the signer of this card, me, loses one, is going to apply at the start of every game to come. Catch Good. Up. Catch up, mechanism. Good. <sighs> Right. I would I would I feel a lot worse about it if you've gotten a lot of prestige for helping the kingdom. But you got a lot of prestige for actively Taking. trying to screw the kingdom over. <laughs> uh, True. Okay. And you're the leader now, so yeah. you get a new dilemma. Oh, the one other thing going on on this card, there's this icon that says 30 and then a sword. I could not find anything about that in the rules. I think that the end of the campaign will probably care about that. That sounds right. That yeah. seems like the this yeah. is what you get for the end of the campaign. You add up all the swords or whatever. And Something like that. Okay. We'll yeah. find out. We will yep. find out. Okay, well, the wedding's off, people. When the wedding happened, and she's now in the that, cult. I keep getting that wrong. The yeah, wrong just, wedding happened. Just because it yeah. ended so poorly, I keep thinking the wedding didn't happen, but it turns out wedding weddings aren't always good in, in stories. <laughs> that doesn't sound right. All right, well, let's forget about that. As a romance. With her surprising fighting skills, Lara fascinates the people of Duin. Many believe she embodies the spirit of Tild, the saint daughter of courage and war. A memoir titled Confessions of the Soldier Princess has been spreading inspiring our nobility to take a more active role in society as Uncali nobles do. It is, however, a proven forgery. Do we denounce the fake memoir? Hmm. Hmm. So, if we vote I on this, morale goes down, but the leader gets a positive sticker. Mm -hmm. And if we vote nay, morale goes up, but the leader gets a negative sticker. Mm -hmm. So, a little bit of a uh, dilemma here. On. <laughs> uh, what sort the of dilemma would you say? <laughs> what, what sort of person would have to solve this dilemma? <laughs> um, not me. I am going to pass for moderator. Just take it away from him. I think. Yeah, I think I'm going to pass Ryan, or I'm going to force Ryan to actually participate. Pass for the moderator it won't title. Work. He's not going to vote. I think we should. It's an interesting dilemma because this memoir is doing good in our society. Yeah but is a forgery. Yeah. Yeah. How, what are your thoughts on piracy? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I would like to see morale go up in the kingdom, you know? But, ooh. But you gotta pay for it. Yeah, a forged document. Ouch. All right, here's where I'm gonna go with this. I'm gonna take this coin from a long time ago. <laughs> And I think I'm going to vote nay. One power. Okay. We let the memoir 
We let it. We let it. Yeah. Forgery is very bad. <laughs> As an <laughs> academic. Oh yeah. Uh, I absolutely am voting. I denounce this horrible forgery to power. Wow. But morale. They can deal. You know, it's better for them to learn now. What if someone else in like ten years is like, actually, that was a forgery, and it's even worse then? We gotta nip this in the bud. I'm with you. I think you're. I think you're on the right track here. Okay. Me too. That's why I'm gonna vote three power. Huh. On I. Wow. Great. Oh, someone wants and to okay. be. Okay. So you have the leader token. I have already passed. Candace, would you like to increase your vote on nay? It's five to one. Uh, no. All right. I'm good on this. Christian, Brandon, would you be willing to break the tie for me just to spite Ryan? <laughs> um. <laughs> well, you can't vote. I could put two, so, one so eye. So you could become the leader? No, no leadership would change, so you can't raise the bet. So the moderator would break the tie. Would decide who's the leader if you both put the same amount of power in? Yeah. If I put one power in, leadership would not change, so you wouldn't get a chance to raise. Hmm. If I put two in, you would get a chance to raise. Mm -hmm. So my question is, Brandon, would you be willing to break the tie in my favor purely out of malice towards Ryan? Remember that I'm helping you toward your goal of trashing the kingdom. Well, you both whoa, are right now. Whoa. Well, previously I was. Like in the last one, I helped you sink that wedding. You did. <laughs> did you? Did I, you just pass? He passed. He did not. Yeah, help wait. I won three to one. What are you talking about? He didn't about? help at all. He, just, he helped in the sense of he could have helped, but he chose not to. Are you gaslighting me? Yes. <laughs> I absolutely could have. I let that vote go. I could have <laughs> put my thumb on the scale. I was the moderator. No, you couldn't have. There was no tie. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I say, let okay. it go nay. I was going to at least try to get some gold out of you for that, but yes, now I will do it just to spite Ryan. I'm going to yeah. put one eye in, uh, and it's a tie. <laughs> All right, the voting is over. The eyes have it. Put your power in, three yes. each. There's nine in the pot now. Oof. That's exciting. And then as moderator, I decide that Christian is leading this decision. Thank you. You will rue that decision. <laughs> Will I? Yes. Hey, but congrats on your first vote. How'd it feel? Yeah. It felt <laughs> like a waste of time that I should probably <laughs> reconsider doing it ever again. Despite its beneficial effects, the memoir is fake and must be denounced as such. Mm -hmm. The book immediately becomes unpopular and scorned as it mystifies Lara's true history. Uh, minus two morale, which is already accelerating negative, so I have one, two, three. Mm -hmm. And three stability. And it gets the momentum as well. Yeah, could you pass the momentum token over? And we get a new sticker. I love stickers. Uh, sticker 151. Truth above all, and it's a positive knowledge sticker. Uh, so we'll cover up the one that's been crossed out three times now, correct? Mm -hmm. Great. Uh, may I have a pen, please? Thank yes. you. So the decision to ban the fake memoir attributed to Lara reinforced our belief in truth and science dissuading the fabrication of further forgeries, which is very in line with my values as house dad. Really. There's nothing more, <laughs> nothing more important than truth. That's what I keep saying. Yeah. Ryan. Mm. Uh, can you put this sticker on for me? <laughs> <laughs> Ryan. And I am the leader now. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So I get the next dilemma. So we are, uh, this is, could be our... We're now rapidly approaching the end of the game from Dilemmas as well. Yeah, so not this one, but, but the af one. after this one, and then the king can die at any time. Yep, great. The Royal Marshal reports to us that among the newly drafted recruits coming to Libra from the yearly recruitment campaign for the garrison of the capital, all those coming from the lands of Natar are found to be particularly violent. Some say, too violent? Mm -hmm. Do we stop recruiting them? Um, so if we stop recruiting them, I, it's bad for... Uh, it's a military one. Influence. It's bad for influence if we say I, but we get a positive sticker. Mm -hmm. uh, it is bad for welfare if we say nay, and we also get a positive sticker. Huh. Interesting. Hmm. An interesting oh. dilemma. Yeah. So do we stop recruiting the horrible, violent uh, people from the tar? I mean, obviously we, we stop, right? We can't have violence. <laughs> right. <laughs> There's one thing you hate. <laughs> <laughs> um... I actually, I'm, I'm inclined to agree. Um, however, I'm not so inclined that I'm not, that I'm going to vote. Uh, I'm, pass, I'm almost out of power. So yeah. I'm absolutely passing for power. I'm feeling the pain too on the power. Uh, so I'm passing for power. Okay. And um, that's me. There's, how much did we say was in there? Nine. Nine. Nine in here. I just need a little bit of power. Even if we all split that, I'll be like, sweet, I got two power. Thank God. <laughs> Ryan. Um, I am going to vote... What? 
I am gonna vote nay. Okay. Hmm. I mean, it sounded like you had a pretty strong moral opinion here. I do. <laughs> so what's changed? Possibly my morals. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what's changed is how much power is sitting in that pot. Uh, I get the <laughs> leader. Oh yeah, you are the leader for now. Mm-hmm. For now. I am going to stick to my morals. Mm -hmm. We have not been oppressed for dozens of generations to <laughs> have weak morals. Okay. So I'm going to put one on I. And you are still the moderator for the moment. I am. Yes. Candace. And I'm gonna pass. In for power, power or for power. Okay. power? I was. I figured that Candace could not pass that up, so yeah. I thought that I'd, I'd uh, get. Uh, so we pass back to the leader, and it's and a tie. I'm also sorry. I'm gonna. You put more into the war? Yeah. Wow. Right. So you're I'm four. Not if you right put now. one more in, you yeah. will be winning. Or I'll be tied. Uh, no, you're no, tied. No, no. Oh, that's right. Okay. You were already tied. Do you still want to put it in? It would deny them the benefits of the win. Yes. I'll do it. I mean, you're about to get a stack of power, so... I'll do it. Okay. <laughs> All right, so the voting is done. It's a tie between I and A, but the eyes have it. Bang. So I will lead this one. Um, so you two split four power each. Yeah. yeah. One will stay in. Okay. The one that I spent will join it. You can take yours back. Okay. I'm really confused why you opposed me. You just wanted a sticker? Um, and a strongly held opposition to violence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mostly that. No, uh, my. Uh, it seemed like an equally bad thing for you, so I was ex counting on you, or an equally good thing for you, so I was counting mm. on you to sit out. Was it spite? No, you were wrong that it was equally good for me. Mm. Interesting. <laughs> it's almost as though he's some sort of it's got hidden, hidden agenda. <laughs> almost like it. Yeah, what does it do again? <laughs> right. Obviously, excessive violence could make the army uncontrollable. We decide to avoid recruiting more Notarians. As an unexpected side effect, people from around the kingdom start escaping military service by moving to Natar. <laughs> That's pretty good. I like that. <laughs> our army will suffer for the smaller numbers. I love it. So our influence goes down by two, becomes three with the momentum, and it needs a token. Mm -hmm. King is real close to advocating, folks. Oh, 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 man. Because we've ruined Three the fingers. army. <laughs> <laughs> and if you could hand me sticker number 59, please. With joy in my heart. It's <laughs> <laughs> the only way I like my stickers handed to me. Uh, I mean... Things are not looking good. Depends if you like wealth. Sounds great. <laughs> this is a positive welfare sticker. See, I'm just looking out for the kingdom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Arms returned to agriculture. Ever since we stopped conscripting young soldiers from the region, the lush lands of Natar have been providing bountiful rewards to their oh, harvesters. See? And you accidentally made the, the kind of kingdom better. Whoops! <laughs> <laughs> Not my usual MO, but. Mm -hmm. So, um. Good job. <laughs> uh, would you mind sticking that on the uh, welfare row? All right, and we press on. And now, at any point, if we have the icon on the card, the king will die. Mm -hmm. But we won't know until we resolve the dilemma. Mm -hmm. Great. After enduring the horrors of the never-ending war against the Ankali, many soldiers were reduced to poverty upon their return home, incapacitated and kept from working by the mutilations they suffered. Mm -hmm. Some proposed we could introduce a new tax on luxury goods to create a subsidy for our veterans. But this may damage trade. Do we create a subsidy for impaired veterans? If we do... Wealth will go down, but there may be a positive sticker in it for the leader. And if we say nay, then welfare goes down. So uh, this is likely to abdicate the king either way. Yeah. Something's going down. Yeah. Um, but on nay, there's a negative sticker because we let the veterans suffer. Sure. Okay. And you're the leader. So I'm the leader. That's what they tell me. That's what it says on your nameplate, on your desk. <laughs> so I'm the moderator and the leader. I'm like the, um, I'm like the Admiral President Cylon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a good feeling. It's oh, good we feeling. all know. <laughs> I'm very open that you're a Cylon. Let's. We should probably pass this tax. Yeah, 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 
Yeah. And I feel so strongly about it, I'm going to put two power on it. I feel the same way. Wow, join me. And I feel pretty strongly. So I'm going to go ahead and put three. Wow. On and I. Take the leadership from me. Here. I love the troops. <laughs> <laughs> I've said it before. Uh -huh. I'll say it again. We, we, you guys really, have heard me say We're it. really quite tired of you saying it. Yeah. 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 You're like, give up on the troops. And I'm like, I will never. <laughs> uh, that's why I'm putting four on I. Whoa. <laughs> Taking the lead. Are we all just assuming that the, the game, game is, is over and burning through our power? <laughs> I'm gonna pass for moderator. <laughs> or I'll pass for yeah for moderator. Take for power. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't end. Yeah. It's... I'll pass for power. Well, yeah, yeah. There you go. Uh, are you adding any more in? I am going to do nothing. Candace, would you like to up your vote? Yeah, I would. Okay. All right. So moderator. Well, how much so are you? You're the moderator. I am the moderator. How much? Oh, this is so Well, the thing is, if, so, you tie... so if I tie, he can't vote again. Correct. Right. And then it's in your hands. Yeah. Or you could put in two and then see if I'm willing to keep out spending you. My pockets could use some lining. If, if you if you want to just if you want to just tie. How does two gold sound? Um, <laughs> I was thinking like twice that. I don't know how four gold became Ooh. the going rate. That's insane. That's a lot of yeah, money. That's I don't a know. lot. We, we each start with ten. I mean, yeah, that, so that's forty percent of your entire income at the start of the game. I would do three. Okay. If you're willing. Okay, we can meet in the middle. To, okay. Yeah. Okay, so I will up my power bid. And you'll give, you have to give okay. him three now to lock in the. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Otherwise, it's not binding. Yeah. 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 Let me lock that in. Three. These are special coins. Thank and I can't you. do anything. So. Special coins, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I can plant them and grow beans off. Of course. Uh, it's a tie. What What are you gonna do, Brandon? Hmm. Well, according to the rules of the game, I must choose. <laughs> yep. oh. So you. I must choose Candace to be the leader. So Ryan gets two power. Mm -hmm. We all put in our big stack of power. Yeah. If the game doesn't end, then there's a lot of power in there. <laughs> yep. And I become the leader. Oh, I put mine in too. There's ten power in the pot. Mm -hmm. Woo! Candace, read the eyes. Okay. Let's see what happens. The tax on luxury goods is highly criticized by those in high society, but many benefit from the subsidy it funds. Some of the soldiers reduced to misery managed to rise from poverty, strengthening our economy in the long run. Hmm. All right. Okay, so welfare goes up one. Nice. Up one, okay. Yep, and so that... wealth goes down two. Ah, so we won't end the game. Uh, oh, oh, right, so stability okay. is up one. Yep. And then... Wealth is down too. Yes, and there's an envelope, but we will end the game because the, the king dies. The king dies. Uh, that looks like a sticker, not an envelope. No, no, no. There's a. Oh, that's uh, a sticker. Yeah. Oh yeah, sticker one sixty five. That's right. King. It does look like a sticker. And you're right. And the king. King will dies. Die. Mm. Well, damn! I really was hoping for abdication. <laughs> wow, okay. that's like the absolute worst. Oh. Okay, so the sticker is foundations on the rock. Uh, Creating a subsidy to support impaired war veterans helped poor families back on their feet, avoiding a breakdown of the foundations of our economy. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. So this is a wealth, positive wealth sticker. Nice. So once you sign that, Ryan can get that on board for you. And the game ends. The and king the, is dead. The king is dead. That's that's a damn shame. I really, I really wished for a happy retirement for the king. <laughs> yeah, that this ending really great. messed me up. Yeah, that yeah. really messed great. me up. It wasn't great. It was like the worst possible ending. For me. I'm actually pretty happy. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually okay with it. Mm. Overall, just, just that last. Not, I it, bet it, you are. It could have been better. That that last turn was just a big negative for me. Mm. Oh no. So scoring, oh, uh, we need the rule book to write down the score stuff in. Luckily, I have it right here. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So pull up a new score sheet. That was King. Um, that was King Vesp. Wait. Oh, we didn't name the next king. I should have named the king, huh? Right now, go. Um, Quick. Uh, king Snipe. King right, Snipe. we had we had King Prick, and now no, yeah, King Snipe. So <laughs> king Snipe has just been given his name on his deathbed. <laughs> we just noticed. <laughs> yes. Everyone's been calling him Sir for eighty years. <laughs> All right, King just Snipe king. is dead. We will find out who the next king will be. Okay, so uh, let's talk secret agendas. Um, Amarata, want to start us off? So I was the extremist, mm 
Mm -hmm. um, which is why I was so sad about that last turn. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Um, so uh, we're at 15 and 2. So is this, it's uh, inclusive, right? So it's 1, yes. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay. Um, and then I have 13 gold. Okay, we'll compare our gold yeah. in a second. Oh, sorry. 13. So Or 14, sorry. 14 points. 14 points. 14 points. Gotcha. Okay. That's great. That's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, well, it would have been more. If, uh, if this would have gone down and that would have gone up, it would, okay. it would have been the, the oh, maximum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And if this one had gone up, this would have helped me because of the... Mm. Yeah. yeah. Um, Bad news all around. I was the rebel. Yeah. So I wanted resources to be in the extreme quadrants of the board. Three of them were. So I get 17 points for that. Wow. Okay. Also, if the king had abdicated, I would get a crave point for it. Ah. That's why I was hoping and was <laughs> pretty optimistic that that dilemma was, was going to do that. And it was one attack. point away. If you, you would have voted with me, so much. <laughs> <laughs> then it might have. It might have. You're right. Ah, uh, well. Okay. I was moderate, so this didn't go well. <laughs> oh, moderate? You want it near the middle? I, yeah, I just mm. had two, and it was seven points. Seven points. All right. Um, sure. I was greedy. Um, I had two in the extremes, so I got 11, oh, excuse me, three in the extremes, so mm -hmm. I got seven points. Ooh, not okay. great. However, I have money. Let's mm -hmm. see how that goes. Do you? Okay, so now let's compare our coins. Um, I have 16. How do you all do? 13? 13. 14. What? Ooh. I so, thought I was doing pretty good. Yeah. So uh, it's tied for first, tied for second. So is yeah. that last, the, is that that last three bucks I gave you? Yes. I gave you yeah, that, right. that turned it. So um, okay, on, on my agenda, when I get the most coins, I get three points. So I'm going to claim those. Okay, that's fine. I get three for second most. Okay, so three for Vespertine. And I get four for third. Wow. I would have gotten eight if I'd had yeah. that first. Yeah. You guys were just handing money. I got one, one for third. third. One for third. I was hoping I had the money. Okay. Open agendas. Who had open agendas we need to check? This isn't good, right? No, that doesn't look good. Yeah, so you had the negative open agenda for influence, and it is the yeah. lowest. So you get minus three agenda points for that. Okay. I had none. I um, think I have none. Cause nothing, because neither of yours were at the top. Second, and neither of mine was at the top or the bottom. So. Okay. And then finally, we compare power. I regret to inform you all that I have zero power. Three. Two. Six. All right, so two agenda points go to you for having the most. And uh, you had the second most? Yep. Okay, so wow. that's one point for best for team. Okay, uh, yeah, it looks like, as I'm doing quick math here, 17 points for Amarata, 11 for Badron, el um, 8 for Vespertine, and 20 for Prickle Snipe. Mm. Uh, my, my reign continues. Ooh. Yeah. I get, to, I get to marry another yeah, but, very suboptimal but guess what happens family member into the line. Guess oh, what happens yeah. next thing, you get extremely rubber banded. Oh, man. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. Okay. Right, so this is this, right? So you're rank number one. Rank number one. So you get five prestige. Because the king died. Or, yep. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot of prestige. Okay. One, I get two, three. Four prestige. Because I'm number two. Mm -hmm. Number three, which was Me. Badron, you're going to get two prestige and one crave. Okay. Wait until pen is available. And oh, then... here you go. And then Candace, you're getting two crave. No, okay. I was the extremist. Uh, if I would have taken the other the, the other goal was the optimist, mm. I could have potentially ended the game by pushing everything up, and it would have been lovely. Would have been. Uh, no, nope. but I did not. Nice I chose poorly. Yeah, so let's check in on achievements. Um, I advance my achievement for having stability on the bottom half, and also I get my first success on getting the influence to be the lowest resource so i make some progress on that too Congrats. so good good game for me we gotta improve our knowledge i did a horrible game. job nothing <laughs> happened I got yeah nothing. i got nothing else. i was the only one who got achievements yep yeah all right well that is uh i feel pretty good about how this wait one wait till the beginning of the next game we'll see how good you feel <laughs> <laughs> also remember that you made an enemy and i'm gonna try and screw you at every turn that's really good for me is I'm to break up this forward. team <laughs> i'm looking forward to it all right well on that um Careful note. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all for the game. I'm excited, I think, to continue <laughs> it soon. Thank you again for watching, and until next time, be optimal.